You're listening to What to Read Next podcast, episode number 30. Welcome to the What to Read Next podcast. In this podcast, your hosts, Clara Jackson and Laura Yamin, will share their favorite book recommendations. If you share a passion for books and are always looking for the next one, then join us. Welcome to the show, guys. So happy to have you back. So now let's introduce ourselves. Hi, I'm Clara. I'm an avid reader uh, and writer, and I am so excited to share some ideas on what to read next in this podcast. Okay, and I'm Laura. I'm also an avid reader for the past couple of years. I've been reading a book a day or every other day. I really love to read romance, yondo, fantasy, throw to, and I just started listening to audiobooks. So that's a new venture that I've had. Hmm. Well, in honor of the royal wedding this coming May 19th, we want to recommend books that talk about royalty. So, Laura, what are your recommendations? Awesome. So I got three recommendations this month. Um, the first one is Royal Screw, which is a trilogy by Emma Chase. And I you know there are three books in the series. The first two books are with Princess, and then the third book is about a um, sister of one of the people. So um, so the first two books are definitely royal weddings, are royal, royal specifics. And then the third one is not, but it's related to it. So, all right. So the first book is about a prince. Um, they're both princes in a European town, kind of like Genovia from the Princess Aries, where it's kind of like a fake European town where they're, you know, it's neutral and it's, they just have a royalty and they're living like that way. So it's the same way. So same town, same, same town idea. Um, and this prince comes to New York and he falls in love with the commoner. Um, she owns a bakery and she's like, pretty much she did not know who he was other than he was really hot and he was really rich. And so, <laughs> so they, she's like, I don't want you. And then he's like, he tried to chase her and then he just fall in love. But he actually has to abdicate the throne. He's, he was a heir to the throne. But because she's a commoner, she's not allowed to. He's not allowed to get married to her. So he was like, "I'm abdicating the throne for you. You know, I love you and all these different things." And they have they marry and they get happily ever after. So it's a really cute story. Um, so if you're thinking of like the prince and you know similar to that, that's a really cute story to listen. The second book is um, Royally Match, and this is so he abdicates the throne. So his brother has to take the take over the throne. So it's like. Prince Williams abdicates and Prince Harry actually has to be the has to be the king. He's not he you know, he grew up not thinking he's gonna be the king. He's kinda of like I'm partying, I'm just kinda of having fun. So it's the same idea. So this prince was like, I was not planning to be a king, but I guess I I'll be the king. So he needs to find a, a girlfriend or a future wife. So he decides to sign up for reality TV shows, kinda of like The Bachelor. And basically, there's like 30 contestants on uh, who have who are royal, who who lived in the town, so they're pretty much they can be queens. And he ends up falling in love with the one who doesn't want to be in the show, which is kind of like that's kind of like the story. So um, they're completely opposites, but they're really matched really well, and they have a good chemistry. So it's a really cute story. But if you like The Bachelor, if you like the reality TV show, and you like kind of like a party prince this is a good this is a good book to read it's really matched by emma chase um the second book is prince in disguise by stephanie kate strom and this is the story of dylan and she is from mississippi and her sister was in a reality tv show where she falls in love with the royal um it turns out he's a duke or loosely based on a duke but he's not he he did works for a living he's not just a royal um but they are set to get married in scotland so dylan has to go to scotland through the holidays for the wedding and in that place she meets jamie who is pretty much a dork you know kind of like a dorky cute boy next door and they fall in love they're really cute and then she realized she did not know that he's a prince so that hence the name prince in disguise um so it was it's a cute story. It's a cute st- summer contemporary story, or actually, no, it's a more holiday story um, mm. because it takes place during the holiday season. Um, but if you're thinking of Scotland, that's a really. If you're thinking about traveling to Scotland, this is a good book to to read about it. Um, and then the third book is actually set in London, and it's a trilogy. And it's Royal Affair by Parker Swift, and this is actually Dylan Hale is. Um, is the main character and he's a duke um he's famous he's rich he's very like um wealthy he's busy 
Um, and he falls in love with Lydia Bale, who is an American. And they're pretty much the three books that are about their love story. Um, they walk through the whole process of the falling in love. There's, it's angsty. It's romance. Um, they're, they have drama. It's, it's kind of cute. It's a good story. If you like, if you like romance novels, I would encourage you to read this trilogy. It's a debut novel, which is surprising because the writing is really solid for it. Um, so I enjoy this book a lot. I give this book, so for the World East Crew series, I gave it about four stars out of five stars. Um, for Prince in Disguise, I gave it about 3.5 stars. Um, it was cute, but I could, you know, it was a cute summer contemporary, but I just really could care less much about it. But The Royal Affair, I gave this four to five stars. So they were, I really enjoy this romance. Now, Claire, what are some of your recommendations? Sure, I have a couple. The first one is The Royal We, um, and this is by Heather Cox and Jessica Morgan. Um, and I should start off by saying I never have been a real big fan of, you know, like the British royal family and stuff like that. Um, but I read this book, and it kind of <laughs> It kind of made me become a little interested in, in that kind of stuff and watching the royal wedding and everything like that. So um, I have to blame that book for this, uh, for my newfound fascination. Um, but it's about a girl named Bex Porter, who is from the U.S., and she goes off to college at Oxford where she meets Nick, who you may have guessed ends up being the heir to the royal throne in in uh, Britain. So it's a very, um, you know, it's a fictional work, but you can certainly see references to the true life story of, um, uh, what's his face? Oh, my gosh. William I and Kate. Even, Prince Will, yeah, Will and Kate. <laughs> um, so anyway, it, it's just, I don't know what to say. The story swept me away. It's, it's like, a, I don't know, it's so engaging. It's a fairly long novel, but you, you'll read it really quickly. And I actually didn't want it to end. Like, I wanted, I want there to be sequels. I want there to be more stories. And because it left me wanting more, that's what kind of started me watching, you know, being more interested in what the royal family was doing. Or even it's what led me to start watching The Crown on Netflix, to be mm. honest. But again, I don't co-sign on the British monarchy. I think that it's an antiquated and, you know, it's a colonist, colonial enterprise. But, yeah, I guess I'm selling out because I I get excited about it now. (laughs) (laughs) So were you excited about the baby or no? Uh, I mean, I, I guess so. I mean, I wasn't like counting the days or anything like that but yeah I mean of course I wish them congratulations and I am not gonna lie I'm getting excited about the upcoming wedding so <laughs> yeah I'm excited about the wedding the baby was like whatever although it was interesting that she left and seven hours later she gave birth and seven hours later she's like taking pictures and over the glam squad and leaving town I was like okay that's that's a little too much a little too fast but yeah wow. But yeah, no, the royal wedding is exciting. She's an American <laughs> princess. Yeah, no, I I am excited to see it, and I used to watch Suits, so big fan. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, so um, my next book is The Princess Bride, um, an oldie, definitely, but such a good book by William Goldman. Okay, so you may have seen the movie, um, or you may not have. If you haven't seen the movie, I definitely recommend you see it. But the book is, as, all, as often is the case, but this is so true, movie is great, book is phenomenal. Um, it's the story of Princess Buttercup and Wesley slash the Dread Pirate Robert. And um, it's, it's just their love story. And I really am not going to tell you more than that. You've probably seen the movie. Um, but if you have, read the book anyway. Because even if you know the story, it doesn't matter. You freaking laugh out loud every page. 
like, you know, I think I talked about a Christopher Moore book back in December. Um, this book made me laugh more than that one. And I don't sit around my house laughing out loud by myself. So I definitely, this book will make you laugh. It's a good book to, to cheer you up. If you happen to have kids, nieces, nephews, I think it's a great book to either give to them or read to them. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, so I had a friend recently who was um, going through stage four cancer and it was a really tough time for him. And as soon as I found out, I bought him this book to read while he was at chemo. Cause I just wanted to give him something that would really make him laugh and cheer him up. And he was expecting a baby. So I was like, you can give this to him someday. Um, but I just think this book is hilarious. So, and they did recently, um, I think it's the 25th. I'm not sure. Some anniversary of this book. And so they did release an updated volume that includes illustrations. Mm. And I do have that one. I haven't read it yet because I like to read my old copy that I've had forever. Mm. Um, but anyway, and I'll also just plug the movie because it is good. That was actually one of my first big birthday parties back in the 80s. I got to invite all my little kid friends to go to the movie theater and watch A Princess Bride. So, <laughs> oh my God, that's awesome. Yes. And I think it was the 80s. Anyway, I, I'm so old now. So then the last book, I'm just going to, you know, put it out there. I have not finished reading this book, but um, I wanted to kind of counterbalance you know, the overall royal narrative by sharing, you know, kind of like a book that talks about more the reality of being a princess. So I found this book called Princesses Behaving Badly um, by Linda Rodriguez McRobbie. And again, I really haven't read the whole book, but she has different um, stories in there about real princesses, good and bad, who've done good things and bad things. Um, from all over the world and to highlight the reality of princesses versus sort of the Disney packaged, you know, version of it or the Princess Diana version of it. And and we all know even Princess Diana had a, her life behind the scenes was very difficult. So anyway, I just think that this book um, might be interesting to look at as we're seeing the royal wedding take place because we get a you know, we don't always hear the real stories of women. So um, although these are princesses, I thought it would be interesting. So those are my recommendations. I love it. So now we want to hear from you. What are some of your favorite royal theme books? Come over to the blog, watchreadnextblog.com and share with us what are some of your favorite books. Thank you so much for listening once again. And we will be back in a month with a brand new podcast. In the meantime, if you do enjoy this podcast, please consider leaving a review for us on iTunes so we can get the word out and get discovered by a new audience. Thanks so much. Thank you.